Okay, hey y'all, uh, so this is Cassie here, um, and today I want to go over easy rolls. So this is something that I would typically teach towards the end of a level one class if um, I had students that had come to maybe a few classes or if I had a group that was just doing really well and um, wanted to experiment with something a little bit more exciting in the swing. There are three prerequisites for doing an easy roll. The first is that your student knows how to do seatbelt and they can get into it unassisted. The second is starfish. Um, for easy roll, I definitely make sure that students can get up into a proper starfish without assistance. Sometimes in a level one class, I will help students lift up into starfish just so that they have a feeling of success. Um, and if they're with a group especially, they can get a fun picture. Um, but as they start to move on into more advanced things, if they can't do it by themselves, then I don't let them do it. Um, so seatbelt, starfish, and the last prerequisite is uh, pigeon pose. So students need to know where they're landing. Um, that's gonna be pigeon pose, and they need to be very sure that they know where their extended leg is going. That's the only real fear factor in an easy roll is that a student will let their leg slip through the center of the handles um, and that's how they could potentially fall out. Um, it would be a slow fall, but it still would not be the desired result. Um, so to do these things properly, you need to know about fabric placement. Um, you need to have some core strength for a big crunch that's gonna happen, and you need to have some oblique strength for the roll. As an instructor, what I would do spot in an easy roll is the extended leg. Um, you have to remember what's happening to a student's brain as they do this, probably for the first time, they're really spinning around in the swing, and their focal points get pretty shoddy. So as the instructor, it's tempting to move with them, um, but for this, you need to be their solid point of reference. And you need to be in a place where you can control the extended leg just to keep it from slipping out as a student learns this for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and show what the easy roll is. So first step, and each one of these steps a student should have learned individually. They learn it, they come out. You teach the next thing, they learn it, they come out. So they should have already been in seatbelt at minimum three times before they ever learn this move, but probably more than that. So I start in seatbelt wrap. So I lift to my tippy toes, pull the fabric tight against my sacrum so it can't move bend my knees, sink my weight to the fabric, spread eagle legs, wrap your legs around this way. You're in seat belts. Now, just for the beginning, I will let students uh, come up into starfish with their feet hooked. It's a big old crunch. You've got to reach up and grab above your feet. Then you push your legs through the center of the fabric so that you catch onto your knees. Reach your hands up higher one more time. Then kick your legs up to the sky so that you can use the strength of your legs opening out wide to help pull you up. That's starting to learn um, good body mechanics in aerial, so you're not just ODing the arms as you pull up, but you're using your core, you're using your legs as well. Now I'm landing in pigeon pose. Again, seatbelt should have already been taught. Starfish should have already been taught, and pigeon pose should have been taught. To get into pigeon pose from here, I bend one knee. Both of my hands come onto the handle of the knee that's bent. This is the leg where things can go wrong. You need to keep that leg shooting out away from you. Uh, it has a tendency to protectively, instinctively, want to come closer in towards your body. You need to keep it far out away from you here. So both hands onto one handle. As the instructor, I would stand right here by the person's knee and stay there. Because I'm gonna to start to roll forward all the way around. The fabric's gonna go up your butt. Just be okay with that until you have both handles tucked under your one knee. 
Now this leg here might try to go crazy and come up. You as the instructor standing here would make sure that that leg goes down away from my body. Then you slide your hands all the way down, let go, and then slide your foot back onto its original handle so that you're in your pigeon pose. Again, you don't want your leg to be coming up through the center of the fabric. You want to keep it out and long. Then you wrap your leg back around your handle so you're back in seatbelt. Chin to chest, grab above your thighs. Pull yourself all the way up to stand. And make sure to take a little fold just to let your blood pressure come back to normal. So, in a group with new students doing that, I would probably um, have taught the students seatbelt. We would have done some crunches from seatbelt to get nice and strong in the core, and that way I can monitor and see who might be ready to get into starfish. If they get into starfish really well, um, I'll have brought them down and taught them pigeon pose so that they learn how to extend their leg far out behind them and be nice and controlled. Um, and then I would spot each individual person as they did their first roll so that they feel the comfort of me being next to them as they learn it for the first time. I can help guide them down into the roll and then I can catch their bottom leg and make sure that it stays put, stays far away from the swing so that they can safely release all the way from gazelle into their pigeon pose. Um, and then I'd let them try the other side if they felt confident and I would just keep my eyes out for anybody that needed direct one-on-one -on -one assistance after I had given each person that individual assist on the way up. What I would do to make sure people aren't bored as I'm assisting each person is give them homework. My homework would be for them to either continue doing crunches or to continue lifting up into their starfish and coming back down into their seatbelt. Um, so I hope that is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions um, and how it goes. And if it's at all different from how you've learned it before and if the names are different. Um, thanks guys.